EVO Inc. has officially launched a hybrid electric regional airliner known as the EVO 810. With Boeing and Pratt & Whitney among the major stakeholders providing support to the Montreal-based aerospace company, the orders are already starting to rack up. Let's take a closer look at the aircraft and who's backing the program for today's video. When combining conditional purchase agreements and options, EVO claims to have already secured a total of 450 orders for its new 810 hybrid electric regional airliner. Unfortunately, customers have not been disclosed. The firm expects a relatively quick turnaround, with the four-engine airliner expected to enter service as soon as the early 2030s. In a statement released in mid-December, the Canadian aerospace firm confirmed the launch of the hybrid electric regional airliner program. The clean sheet design had been in the works for several years and is aimed at the 50 to 100 seat market, where EVO hopes that the plane will be able to offer regional operators a quote, new level of efficiency and lower emissions. A typical two-class layout would have space for 76 guests on board. Such an aircraft would make it an ideal fit for the large and diverse U.S. regional market, where scope clause regulations currently permit a maximum of 76 seats on regional planes. According to EVO, the hybrid electric aircraft would have a range of 500 nautical miles or 926 kilometers, with its takeoff weight clocking in at 86,000 pounds or 39,000 kilograms. Michael Derman, chief executive at EVO, welcomed the launch, saying, We've recognized early on that a strong hybrid architecture can provide unmatched efficiencies for airlines, helping them sustain vibrant regional networks in a cost-effective, responsible way. Under certain conditions, the aircraft will actually be capable of fully electric flight. Among these conditions, the firm explains, are short-range flights and during takeoff and landing. EVO actually foresees multi-mission capabilities for the 810, with military usage also factored in as part of the plan alongside cargo operations. EVO is hoping to fill a gap in the world's shrinking fleet of regional aircraft. Indeed, the firm explains that over the past five years, approximately 2,650 regional aircraft have been retired due to rising operational and maintenance costs while only about 750 new aircraft have entered service. This, it notes, represents a 27% overall reduction, despite the fact that flights under 500 miles account for around 47% of global flights every single day. Boeing will specifically support EVO on the investment and technical side of things. As far as the propulsion technology is concerned, EVO will be teaming up with Pratt & Whitney Canada to develop engines for the 810 airliner. So, what do you think of this aircraft? Like many other concepts, will it stay on the drawing board, or do you think it'll actually enter serial production and commercial service? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.